Recently, I had the honor of getting chewed out by Raider himself. He took the effort to do it personally. That's good, I guess. Move yeah. Along, and otherwise, not much going on. <laughs> a snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Ah, oh, if I embarrassed you. I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but to make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled a year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. Uh, what a sublime present. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? Why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. So, I guess it's dangerous. That's what the lamps are for. But lamps need electricity to run. The last I heard, the juice ain't flowing there. People have tried to take it without power. Heroes and fools alike. All ended up as volatile snacks. That's Matt's problem. What do you care? I care because something's not right. 
Can't you sense that as well, Aiden? Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. So why did the Butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the Colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. It's something we don't yet understand. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the Colonel would close the floodgates. And the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in this city. And it's been a stalemate for over 10 years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed, and the renegades attacked the canteen. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Let's help each other. Smart man, Aiden. Barely in town a minute and you've picked the right side already. I'll give you the lamps. That'll keep Matt from getting suspicious. But then, go to the cathedral. There's a guy hiding out there. Total nut job, but a tech savant. Get him to fix this old piece of spy tech. If we get it working, we can bug the transmitter Jack wants to place on top of the VNC spire. Have him do his thing. By tapping Matt's comms, we'll find out what he's doing with the extra lamps. And knowing he's half the battle, kiddo. Hey, enjoy your company, but I'll need you to go now. You're Aiden, right? The reports are true. You'd make a great peacekeeper.